All right, it's artwork time. And I want my control deck to look as close to the original as possible. So here I have a 300 DPI scan of the original artwork. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the scan and separate out all the elements myself. So the first thing I had to do was be able to strip everything away to get to the bare bones base plate. Now this was the most amount of work out of everything. This was a huge pain to do was strip everything away with all the drop shadows and actually reconstruct what was underneath all that. And I didn't want to just do a copy paste clone stamp and have a bunch of repetition painstakingly painting this stuff out to really get everything underneath there. Now I know you're saying on the right side, it's unique and I just mirrored it, but you know what? It's an arcade one up close enough and it's good enough for me by the time I put all my elements on top of it again. So then I went ahead and separated my rare logo, my KI text, my KI logo, my buttons, my stick, my start, and then that metal spike. So now that I have the base plate separated from all the elements, I can go ahead and assemble it to match the proportions of my control deck. Let's take a look. All right, and here is the final layout. I got my control deck top, the front, and the two Nintendo logos for the side. This is ready to go to printing. And that's it. So if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Later. Okay.